Hey YouTube, just thought, um should have done this previously before but I didn't have time. I just thought I'd do sort of, I generally was going to do an unboxing of the uh, Nintendo 3DS XL um, but I obviously couldn't wait to play it so uh, it's already been open. But just basically just going to sort of go on about some differences from previously owning um, an original 3DS. Um, so you'll see with the box it's a lot smaller. Um, Obviously you don't get the AC adapter included, um, you probably know that from DSi XL being the same situation. Um, obviously, I don't know, um, they're not too bad to pick up. Obviously a video I've made, I showed the, the charge cradle with AC adapter, that was obviously quite expensive. But I just thought that, you know, if I was going to buy it, um, I might as well have the charge cradle, just because obviously I had it with the... Um, original 3DS that come with a cradle and charger so I thought as selling my 3DS off um, obviously you needed a, a cradle to dock this in and charge it you know a bit safer than sort of leaving it around plugged in somewhere to fall off or whatever but uh, yeah I've not really looked back to be honest um, I've quite you know enjoyed playing with this one to be honest more than say the original so, um, so obviously you know you've got to get an AC adapter. Uh, like I said, I've made a video on the charge cradle and with the adapter and all that. If you want to see what that looks like, um, so that's basically it. Um, <clears throat> as for um, stuff in there, there's pretty much not much. Just a card inlay and original documents and some star points. Um, so yeah, that's it really. Well, onto the system. So I went for blue. Uh, other colours are red and black, or grey and black, meaning that just the the tops coloured and the bottom, but the actual um, inner of the system is black, as you can see. So obviously, first difference compared to the other one, the um, Speakers are a lot better, and better quality, a lot louder, a lot clearer. Screen obviously being ninety percent bigger than the previous 3DS. Um, the slider, I'm not sure. It's it's good, but I think the slider on the 3DS was a lot better uh, in ways. Just so you knew if it was on, but I mean obviously you're going to know it's on because you're putting the slider up. But uh, the only good feature of this, obviously, you know, it's got a bit of resistance, so you can kind of, you know, the other one was quite loose. Um, the other good feature, right, when you get, say, that's on full so-called 3D um, effect, you can get down to here, and it will stop, and that's, say, still on 3D. Uh, it's saying the intensity of the 3D you want, but then also if you go further down, it will click to go off and obviously when you do that obviously you can notice the 3D is totally turned off um, the original doesn't do that it's just literally a loose sliding from full to non you can go full to minimal and then you can click it down and it will switch off the 3D so that's a good feature um, obviously you've got camera there um, I don't know if that's any better um, designed really, I think it's just pretty much the same. Um, D pad is quite loose, but I prefer this D pad to the one on the 3DS, uh, especially for like games like uh, Super Mario Brothers 2 and, and obviously other games on DS if I play the DS games. Uh, moving on, obviously, analogs pretty much the same, buttons are slightly nicer quality. They were uh, sort of like a coating on them, on like a glossy coating, and I found them not to be that comfortable to play with. Obviously, being big, you've got more thumb room. You've got bigger thumbs. Uh, power on button is, I don't know, it's more inset into the console before it was sort of like a squarish button, sort of protruding from the console. Um, as for like select home start. I think these are a bit better buttons before in the original they were like kind of coated with a plastic um, I don't know what you call it, like a plastic over it which I kind of felt 
after time it looked like it was going to peel off the buttons so you probably end up with like corners curling up and stuff I mean these are just physical plastic buttons overall the um, it weighs quite a bit um, it does feel a bit cheaper they have cheaped out on the casing but it doesn't really bother me too much I just like the fact that I've got you know, a bigger play screen and stuff it doesn't really bother me um, obviously headphone jacks are there LAN yard attachment there or there depending you know if you're into doing that um, obviously stylus is under here normal stylus like uh, uh, the Nintendo DS Lite um, I prefer this stylus the telescopic one that come with the 3DS um, I found it annoying when you were trying to use it it would go in and you have to keep pulling it out and stuff so uh, I prefer this kind of stylus to be honest it uh, works for me um, as we go on let's just put that back in we've got the Wi-Fi switch on and off pretty much the same as the original 3DS uh, volume switch there have noticed depends on the title some games aren't very loud um, wish it could be louder for some titles but I felt that the the original 3DS I had was louder with certain games but if you put like the surround effect on in the settings that seems to do a lot for it uh, makes it sound better so again the 3D cameras on the back, a microphone, pretty much the same as what was on the original 3DS. Um, underneath, um, you know, quite cheap fill, but again, not really too bothered. It's, um, you know, it does the job. Um, what's in the back? I'll turn it around so you can see it properly. So you've got your right and left button, L and R. Um, infrared, um, the slot one, um, pretty much the same. And I'll see your um, AC adapter input and the the two connectors that um, connect on the dock. Um, so yeah, um, just power it on. Obviously, try and open it with one hand. Let's power it on. Do you find still the the initial power on to boot up to the menu is quite a long time. Uh, same with the original 3DS, it seemed to take a while to boot. Still takes as long. Um, not really sure what that is, but so you can see um, it's a hell of a lot bigger. It's a lot bigger, um, so no, it's just like I said, it's preference of of like I said, majority. There's there's probably a few games um, that mainly Star Fox, Super Mario Brothers two, um, oh God, what else? Um, you know, Resident Evil plays a lot better on a bigger screen. Um, seems like you're able to notice more going on um, and sort of you seem to be able to play games better being able to see more on screen um, with the smaller 3DS screen um, a lot of times I don't even notice things going on um, or finding things but since I've played it on this I've noticed I've missed things because I haven't seen them because it's too small to see so you know it's helped with that really um, and I've not really noticed an issue with um, Bit of things being pixelated or anything, I, I I wouldn't say that's the case. I mean, I know there was issues with the DSi XL people claiming that the graphics were pixelated. I've not even noticed that with DS titles or 3DS titles. It just looks good to me. Um, 3D also is just as good, if not better, clearer. Obviously, sounds better. Uh, Touchscreen's a little bit more responsive. So yeah. Anyway, hope you enjoyed the video. Um, if you'd like to subscribe, please, if you like the video, then please like, any comments would be appreciated, anything you want me to help you with, that's, you know, I'll try my best, um, and I hope you like the video, cheers, Space Hunter over now, uh, see you later, bye.